What free software is so good you can't believe it's free? Open Broadcaster software can be used to record or stream with many features. OBS is by far the best streaming software on the market. It's so well made. Good old Notepad++ has syntax highlighting, all kinds of nifty search and formatting functions, tab documents, scripting, plugins. I use it daily. Edit. I am loving how much people are into different text editors. 7-Zip. Handbrake. Long gone are the days of rendering straight to MP4 and the hassles that entailed. Google Maps. I feel like I take for granted just how powerful G Maps is sometimes for free asterisk. Edit. Asterisk asterisk monetarily asterisk free. Ublock Origin. Winterstat. Need to clean up your hard drive? It's perfect to find the big files. Wherever they are. Audacity www. Audacity team is your org. Linux. Very few people realize that Linux is basically the biggest free human-made thing there is. No matter if you have an iPhone, a Windows, a damn Blackberry, you're using Linux daily. It basically runs the internet. P.S. I'm not saying these operating systems are Linux. I'm saying most of the internet does. Edit. I really thought the phone was named Blueberry ha 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 ha. Friend asked me if I can recommend a cheap notebook just to watch videos and browse the internet. I tell her she can have my old HP Pro book fresh installed with Linux Ubuntu for $20. No Linux is too complicated goes off and buys a MacBook Pro. Face Palm. Edit. The point I was trying to make was that she was on a budget. Max $200. My old notebook with Linux was the best I could offer her since Linux is free. And she ending up blowing over her budget 5x by booing one of the expensive solutions. Latex. There's tilde tilde somewhat of tilde tilde quite a learning curve but it can make wonderfully formatted papers, posters, and presentations. Edit. Okay there's a pretty steep learning curve. I swear I must have missed some day of school when they talked about this. I managed to make it through four years of engineering school with a math minor and not know how the hell all the professors made the assignments and exams look like this. I kept being like what is that font? Why do they all have this style? I think I had already graduated before I realized latex was a thing. Much less how to use it. I learned latex pretty late in life. Technically I'm still young enough to win a Fields Medal. But it's not going to happen. Despite that, I still think the effort was worth it. Latex is slow to use. And it never really gets much faster with practice. That said, the time you invest into it asterisk will asterisk lead to professional looking documents. Unlike time spent fiddling around with other formats which can still lead to an inferior paper. Krita is an amazing drawing program as your functions great. Has a huge assortment of tools. And even animation capabilities. DaVinci Resolve. Even the light version is an amazing package of pro-level video editing software on color grading. Tools. Blender is amazing regardless of it being free or not. It is amazing, but the learning curve is vertical. That's the same for every 3D software I've used. I always envy the people who can find work specializing in one specific thing. Like lighting, or texturing. I'm just a generalist. Which means I suck at everything but I can also do a little bit of everything. Paint.net. It's all I ever need. It's just paint with layers and you can create some really beautiful stuff if you're a tad creative greater than if you're a tad creative well then fuck me fa monsieur blender 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 the only 3d software that can hold a candle to the autodesk and zbrush giants plus it's open source only software that i literally can't believe is free and it's all made possible because of the massive amounts of time and effort the community puts into it discord with the amount as updates it is receiving and data it steals from you. I wouldn't be surprised if FB, Microsoft, Google buys them out.
Asterisk Desmos Asterisk and Asterisk Wolfram Alpha Asterisk are two fantastic websites, no download required for all your maps needs. Fusion 360, powerful and free for hobbyists with a low cost to get the crazy stuff like generative design. I really like using Google Drive. I'm a big fan of spreadsheets. And I like being able to access all of them no matter where I am is your flux. But I think by now Win10 integrated part of it. I still use it. Easily the best QOL software I've ever used. Visual Studio Community. Khan Academy. GIMP 2. It's basically Photoshop. Game engines such as Unity 3D and Unreal Engine. Seeing so many closed source answers in this free software post is going to trigger Richard Stallman. Winamp. It really whips the llama's ass. QGIS. Good open source EGIS platform is here. Their newer stuff is fairly confusing for someone just about to enter into the workforce. But 2.18 is awesome. Show me Linux. Seriously a free OS that can, depending on the version, run off a CD or DVD without installing, be used to retrieve data on a crashed computer, be installed on a PC that took 10 minutes to load Windows 98 and take 5 seconds to load. Be so customizable that you can change between multiple versions of your desktop that all have their own background and theme. Enter on a big square you can visually rotate. Be not compatible with a lot of video games. So you probably need another computer, OS anyway. I mean, Linux is great, and I use it at work a lot. But as a gamer, there's no reason for me to ever use it at home. Audacity. Pretty awesome audio editing software that I use for my cover songs. I'm pretty shocked Plex isn't on here. GNU. Linux. Stroke speared in your direction praise Stallman. Stellarium. Not really software. But I still don't know how sites like YouTube can freely host 5 gazillion gigabytes of stupid, worthless videos. YouTube has some ads to it. But it doesn't need to make a profit for Google. For them, it's enough if they don't lose too much while maintaining pretty much a monopoly on video on demand. Social media platforms it's a power play. This needs to be higher. Before tech bros this was simply called a loss leader in normal business. First, they do a bit of advertising now. Second, if something is free then you are the product. I.e. Google is collecting as much info as they can about you with every video you consume. A little bit. VLC and 7-zip. LimeWire. You get loads of extra stuff without even asking for it. MP3s turn into porn. What more could you need? You can even download LimeWire Pro with it. Yeah, and you can give your computer aids for free. What the heck? F.Lux, save your eyes. The answer is always WinRAR. LibreOffice. I came here to say this. It does everything that Microsoft Office does. Some even better. And does a few things Office doesn't. Oh, and it's free for businesses of all sizes. Seriously. Companies could save millions by switching. If they just would, IntelliJ Idea Community Edition, not something most people think about, but web browsers and search engines. We take the internet for granted and forget how many things we rely on to have access to it. www.liches.org If you play chess at any level, this is the only website to play on. Free membership, no ads, free stockfish analysis and great community. I don't know how long the paid membership competitors will continue to survive with liches around. Wireshark. So powerful and useful. Git. It's funny to see people think anything Google or Facebook related is somehow free. It is not. You pay with your data that can be exchanged for money on a gigantic market. I went all this way down to see this answer. It is by far one of the most influential piece of software of our era. Definitely MS Paint. It's actually a lot better than people give it credit. Paint has gotten better but I always use Paint.net since it has tons of plugins and basically everything I need for photo editing. GIMP will blow your mind then. 
Y'all are snoozing on the big one. Asterisk Apache asterisk. I mean, damn. Also, Emacs. What a weird way to spell V. Emacs is a nice operating system, too bad its text editor sucks. Sherex is the only free software I've ever considered donating to. It's so good. Had to control F to find someone mentioning Sherex. It saved years off my life. Edit. To clarify. Sherex saved years off my life. Not control F. Edit 2. Actually control F did as well never mind. This comment isn't even edited. 7 zip screenshot. Qubit torrent has saved me a lot of money over the years. It's actually the torrenter right now. Other clients like BitTorrent are filled with viruses nowadays. All of it. People have no idea the amount of time and thought that goes into software development, doing it. For free is a huge gift to the world. The amount of FOSS gives me faith in humanity. SketchUp. Blender 3D. It's jammed packed with open source goodness. Thank you for watching.